Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be, we're just going to play today. I'm off work today and I just wanted to play with stuff that I have not used in like a long, long, long time. Because I said I wanted to kind of get back to uh, using stuff I have or using things I don't use a lot. I pulled out like one thing I've not really used at all it's just all right so we're gonna go ahead and start because I am barefaced first I want to use my Jeffree Star Velour lip scrub and this is in pumpkin spice latte this has been in the drawer I do love this stuff but look I don't use it I just I don't think about getting it out and using it mmm and it's so good oh my gosh mmm and you can just lick it off. It doesn't really matter. Mm. So there is my lips exfoliated. <laughs> so mm -mm. anything left, I'm just going to wipe off. And then, I'm making sure it's all off. I got this. We got this in, I believe it was BoxyCharm. This is the No Pore Blown Prime Essence. You guys know this booger right here is like my favorite one of my favorites. I got a bunch of nail polish sitting over here because I did my little nubs. So I have a bunch of nail polish over here that I'm trying not to knock over. No pore bloom. So let's use that. And it seems like to me this was really watery. I don't use it. Yes, it's really, really liquidy. So mm, it smells really good. I have only used this like one time. One time. So we're just going to prime the skin with that. We'll see how we like it. Something else I've not been using a lot, and I used to use these all the time. This is the Prep and Hydrate. I know we just primed, but I'm just going to go right up under the eyes with that pretty much. Just because my under eyes have been needing some help. And then I'm just going to take my fingers. Pat that out quickly. So now we are hydrated under the eyes. We are primed. I have my in stylish sponge because I love it. Guys, I do. I absolutely I do love it. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage. You guys know I don't do full coverage. So I use this very special. Sparingly, but I've not used this one in forever and I'm actually going to shake it up I don't know if that's helping any or not because it's been sitting in the drawer for a long time and Nope, she's not separated, but she is thick. Oh my goodness. I forgot how thick it was It seems like this is one that I would normally I got a little bit on my finger um, sheer down with something because she is thick and she is full coverage but if you don't use a lot it's okay you just let the dampness of your sponge kind of sheer it out for you and don't add any more you just move it around instead of making it full coverage uh, Move it around with the sponge and blend it out, children. I have some exciting news coming up. I'm so excited. I can't, I can't wait. Um, you guys know I talked about wanting to try wigs. Um, my hair is not terrible, but my hair has been thinning over the years. And you guys do know I'm pre, I'm, I'm premature white gray salt and pepper whatever you want to call it and i just now went back to having my hair it's all natural color which it's wet right now it's wet so it looks dark but you can see that gray there the whole crown pretty much the whole crown of my hair is pretty white and it's darker back in here and that's pretty much how hair tends to uh, fade or turn gray it starts at the crown and works its way back typically not always but typically now see how I took a full coverage 
formula and it's not it's not you can still see all um, my little bits and things showing through that's why I do like this I can use it and it's it's not uh, full coverage but you guys have seen my hair down and it looks full when it's down and that's because my hair has natural curl it has not a whole lot of natural curl but enough to give it some body and some shape when I pull this back guys that's it that's that's all the hair that's it so that's what I'm saying it looks it's very deceiving I'm gonna use this Park Avenue princess I've had this for a couple months we got it and I've not used it I'm not played with it so I'm gonna use the setting powders and the bronzers in here oh my gosh it smells so good and I'm actually gonna go into enhance I'm gonna try to stand that one I didn't use concealer Shannon I pulled out a concealer. Which one did I pull out? Oh, I pulled out the NYX HD. I've not used this one in forever. This one's a little more peachy to me. Can you guys see how peachy that is? So I'm just gonna really kind of focus it in a corner and just right out here where some of that discoloration is. And that's it. I'm getting that sponge back. But I had a company, I had been really watching YouTube videos on wigs as far as like the quality of wigs, um, how they're constructed, how you wear them, how you take care of them, the price points on wigs. Um, just kind of doing my research because guys, every day that I wash my hair, a little more comes out. I'm not even playing. That's why I, one of the reasons I bought the Halo, and we'll get to that in a moment too, um, because I am slowly losing my hair and my dad did have male pattern baldness, bless his heart. He did have it and it's not like terrible hair loss, but it is thinning. It's thinning and I know it's thinning. It's been thinning. So I've been commenting on some YouTube videos, like I said, doing my research um, going on Instagram and checking out different styles and I happened to comment on one company and it was the wig company I think there's a cat hair on my brush maybe <laughs> and they messaged me back guys they messaged me back and they're sending me a wig to try I'm, I'm not even kidding it is Cause we chatted for a little bit on IG Messenger and I just kind of told him what my situation was. You know, my hair has been slowly thinning. It's premature white. And I want to be able to change up my hair without damaging my hair. Um, I've been through that. That's My hair has been damaged pretty much all my life except for when I was a child and now. So I want to go into... Princess Cut, and guys, I've used Princess Cut before. I know this is really intense. I'm dabbing it on my arm and slightly going up and around. So, yes, they're sending me one to review. I'm so excited. I can't even. I can't even. So, I'm very excited to get it. Um... I do also have a wish wig coming to try just to, again, I wanted to see the quality. I wanted, I know the quality is going to be poorly, but it's something I could play with just to kind of get used to having something on my head, having, you know, something there that's not my own hair to having, you know, having a wig cap on just something to kind of adjust to. So I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Um, Cause to me, I think if you want to change your hair without having to change your hair, a wig is the way to go. I mean, it, it's just pop it on. You're a whole different vibe for the day. I mean, a whole different color if you want to be a different, you know, hair color. Just, I'm so excited guys. I really am. Um, I wanted to use the I wanted to use the Amuse. I hauled this. My lighting today is terrible for some reason. 
what is going on? I don't know. I have all my regular lights on. Um, I don't know. This is the Amuse Eye Primer. This was the one that was supposed to be like the MAC Painterly Paint Pots. I have used it. So as you can see, my fingers have been up in there. And if you have long nails, you'll have to use a brush to get this out. It is really thick. And I think it's this little booger right here. My hubby keeps messing with this light and it throws me off when he does that. <laughs> so I'm just going to pat this on and I have used this the last couple times I have done my eyes and I do really like it for one dollar. It does its job. I mean, and it is thick, but I didn't have any creasing, any budging. My eyeshadow stayed on really good. And I just take it up to like my crease area. I don't take it all the way up to the brow. And this was the shade Clean Slate. And it comes in a little pot like that. One dollar on Shop Miss A. <coughs> guys, I don't have the crud. I have chronic bronchitis. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know I get this every winter. It is what it is. Um, here's the highlight palette I pulled out. It is a Shop Hush. This is the one I kept. Um, Crystal Palace will be using that for the eyeshadow palette. I pulled out Soft Glam. I have not had my Anastasia palettes out in a while, so I pulled out Soft Glam. We're going to use that one, and there's what she looks like. As you can see, she's barely used, so need to use her. I am going to go back to doing my eyeshadow palette roulette or like a weekly shop your stash. And putting it back in this drawer and kind of pull things from this drawer. I'm going to go into Tempura, which is, of course, the shade to set the primer. And we're just going to pat that all the way up to the brow. Pat, pat, pat. And do the other eye. So, yeah, I am going to start doing that again. And I'm going to go into the new year. Um, again, kind of with the focus on kind of use what I have. Um, we'll still be getting boxy charm. We'll be getting itsy. I know a lot of you guys get other beauty boxes. I'm going to go into, I always do a pink look. I'm going to go into rustic. This one has barely been touched because I usually go to this pink shade over here. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of orange soda just to tone it down. And I'm not going to. Use my hand to tug that. So I'm going to try to do it without doing that today. And we'll see what we come up with. All right. So rustic orange soda, rustic orange soda. I'm going to give it a little shake. But yeah, I'm so excited, guys. Don't forget, I have a holiday giveaway going. It's not a huge giveaway, but it is just a thank you to say, you know, thanks for hanging with me all of this year. And if you're new, thanks for, you know, coming over and hanging out with me now. But it's just a thank you to everyone that's been with me and are with me now. Just hanging out, having fun, doing our makeup. getting clothes you know i do have a clothing haul getting ready to come up to another um factory connection haul i have some shoes that i forgot to put in the last one so this one will have some shoes in there and i'm just building this color up i'm going to switch over to a smaller brush i think that will help me a lot i want to come into a little bit of sienna Maybe a little bit of Cypress Summer. I like mixing colors. Just very softly get that corner shade going. The outer V.
can clean that brush off and just kind of blend this down into the crease just a little bit more. Just a little more Cyber Sombra, I think, over here. Okay, that's good enough for my crease. I mean, seriously, that's good. What the heck was that? Did you see the lights flash? I have no idea. I have absolutely no freaking idea on that one. I'm going to come up into Sultry, which is this beautiful bronzy glitter. And we're going to pack that right back here. These are pressed so softly. You cannot dig into these palettes at all. I mean, you just can't. I'm going to clean that brush off. Oh, that's looking good already. And you know, I love my gold. I'm going to, yes. And I'm dragging it right over the top to blend those together. That's the shade bronze. And oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful gold. Get your palettes out and play with them. Don't let them sit in the drawers. I forget like how beautiful some shades are. I mean, I really, really, really do. Cleaning that brush off really good in the switch. I'm gonna come up to glistening just a little bit up here. Just a little bit up there. Cleaning that brush off again. And then we're just blending the edge. Okay, I'm going to take my Jeffree Star brush one more time, clean it off. I'm going to come up with burnt orange and cream soda, tapping that off, and just right up here at this edge. Softly blending that up. Just right here. I like it. Okay. I'm going to use the Hank and Henry liner real fast, just on the upper. lashes and I love this because I can use this very quickly done and then on the bottom lash someone had asked me what the one I was using the other day and it is sex kitten and it is from Tarte it came with the um, Sex Kitten palette. And I'm just going to, I like it because it's retractable. I did get just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of fallout. We're going to dust that away. And I put that on a little bit thicker than I usually do because I'm going to smudge it out a little bit. Grabbing a pencil brush. I'm going to tip into this Noir, which is the black. And just kind of smudge it. And I think I'll take just a little up here at the corner. Just 
smoke out that corner. Just like that. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna grab that powder brush. She needs to be washed. We're gonna wash some brushes. And then eyelash curler. We're trying to get through this quick, guys, because it's already it's already Tom. And I didn't pull out a blush. That was one thing I didn't pull out. Let's see. Here is that Power Up from Butter London. This came in another one of our boxes. I have not really used it at all. I used it once the other day and I thought that's not bad because I really like the double decker. And this one's not bad. And it's got a really short, chunky, kind of interesting curved brush. I don't even know how to explain it, but a little spiky bristles on there. And I'm going to go for a second coat on the uppers. So that I've only used once or twice for blush. I'm going to open up. I'm going to grab something way back in the back. Okay, that'll work. Milani. I've not used you in a while. Color Harmony. This is Pink Play. Oh, if I can get it open. And... Might be a little bit more pinky than, but it works okay. Could actually use this this Milani, which is Blossom Tom Rose. I'm just gonna layer that over. Nice. Okay. So all that is new. My Elf. This is old or not new it's old it just hasn't been used in a while so same thing with this little guy I used to use this all the time it got put in the drawer and kind of forgotten as I tried new products but she still works fantastic as you can see I always clean my brush off before I put it back in the thing. Oh, and just to update you on the Amuse eyebrow pencil, once you start using it, it works really good. Okay, so <laughs> my lips are exfoliated, and I want to use just a little bit of my cream brulee. Just to give them a little bit more moisture. And then for lips... I'm going to use, this is Gerard Cosmetics. This is Vintage Rose. Do you guys think the Vintage Rose would work better? Let me look. Let me see what other colors I have. Ooh, Merlot. I have never used Merlot. I have never used the shade. Look, she is brand new. Look at that. vampy and that's why I need I got to buy me some lip liners because oh, these reds oh my gosh these reds they are just I got out that big blush palette to get to the others the reds are so finicky guys I've never even pulled the um, mirror protector off my mirror
So this is just an elf, and I don't know what the shade is. But it is the only red that I have, but it always just seems to blend with whatever red I put it with. So I really got that Cupid's bow going strong. I do, I do. Okay. So there is a red lip. We have a smoky eye. This lip would be great for the holidays. Um, so that's pretty much it except for the highlight. And like I said, I pulled out, look at that packaging. The Crystal Palace from Bad Habit. I like this palette because she has really pale ones and some really pretty champagne gold ones. And <laughs> grab a highlight blur, 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 blush, blush, highlight brush. <laughs> I'm going to Aurora's. Is that how you say that? The champagne gold. And that is so pretty. Wait, this is the side that has my ring light on it. Guys, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. That is spectacular. <laughs> if my lights have been acting stupid, I don't know what's going on with them, but I apologize. I apologize. All right, and for face spray, let me use one I've not used. Um, this is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist. Again, this came in a box. And all right, there we go. Just well, I would say super fast, but it's been 30 minutes in. But guys, for chit chatting and makeup, I think we've done good. So this is a soft glam revisited. Pull those palettes out, guys, and use them. Don't let them sit in your collection. Use what you have. So as always, thanks for watching. Be sure you go to that giveaway video. I will have it linked down below. It is listed as a thank you, holiday thank you. And be sure you're subscribed and you get entered to that. The giveaway will be announced December the 20th. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.